Hey! So today I want to talk to you about welded and glued sounds. And what are those? They are our um, letters that are glued or stuck or welded together to make a sound. So let's learn a little bit more about them. Okay, so we have kind of learned these in bits and pieces. Our first ones that we've learned have been our an, our am, and our all chunks. So those are the three that we learned first and we start to put together with other words. So remember, when, were we, when we are decoding new and unknown words, it helps if we can solve words by chunks and not letter by letter or sound by sound. So those are our first three. I'm going to give you some words and I want you to think about which chunk or which welded sound do I need to complete my word. So if I wanted to write the word small, which chunk would I need? Would I need an, am, or all to make the word small? I hope you said A-L-L, -L, all. That's the part we need to make small. All right, what about than? Than. I hope you said an is the chunk that we need to make than. All right, what about cram? I need to cram my clothes into my backpack. Cram. I hope you said am, am to make the word cram. Let's keep going. So there's a lot of different welded sounds as you can see. Um, we're gonna learn about some more a little bit more carefully. Okay, we have ing and ink units. These are three letters. We find these at the end of a word and they make a unit of sound. Units don't use an E though. So we're gonna really be looking at our vowel sounds here. So we have ung, ong, ing, and ang. Those all have our ng ending chunks and the vowel sound can change. So you really need to look carefully at those parts. So we have ung like lung, ong like song, ing like ring, ang like fang. And again, you're going to find those at the end of a word. We also have our unk ending. We have unk like chunk, onk like honk, ink like wink, and hiding behind my little cursor window there, we have ank like tank. So again, I'm going to need your help. Which welded sounds do I need to complete my word? So, I want to make the word think. Think about which chunk you need to make think. Well, I need ank, ink, or unk. I hope you said ink. Ink, think. There's two parts there to make that word. Our TH digraph and then our ink welded sound. All right, hmm, I want to make the word thank, like thank you. Which um, welded sound do I need? I hope you said ank. That's the one we need to make think. How about trunk? My mom put the groceries into the trunk. I hope you said unk, tr, we have our blend tr, unk, trunk. Very good. Let's keep going. All right, I'm going to need some more help. I have ong, ang, and ing. I want to make the word spring. My favorite season is spring. Is it going to be our ong, ang, or ing chunk? I hope you said ing. Spur, we have our cluster blend, S-P-R, spur, and then ing, spring. Think of how much easier it is to solve words like spring when we know parts. So we knew our cluster blend and then we know our welded sound it was just two parts instead of six letters. All right, how about strong? What letters do I need or which welded sounds do I need for strong? I hope you said ong. Again, that has a cluster blend, S-T-R, stir, and then our chunk, ong, stir, ong, strong. What about rang? The bell rang and it was time for school. I hope you said ang, er, ang, rang. All right, let's keep going. All right, oh, my nose is very itchy today. Okay, 
So here's just um, an anchor chart that maybe you've seen in your classroom. This is just another way that you can remember some of our welded sounds. Okay, we're gonna move on to our kind, wild, old units. So if you have an I or an O with LD, ND, or ST, the sound may be a long vowel sound. So some of these have short vowels, some of them have long vowels. So let's take a look at it and I need to move myself. Well, it's not gonna let me move myself. Okay, can I make myself smaller? Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, so I have old, like gold. I have ost, like, um, well, this one can say ost or ost. So it can say ost, like lost, or it can say ost, like most. I have, this one can say ol or all. So it can say all, like doll, and it can say um, ol, like troll. I have old, like lightning bolt. I have ild, like child. And I have, this one can say eind or ind. It can say eind like find, and it can say ind like wind. Okay. Let's keep going. There we go. Okay. I'm going to need your help again. Which welded sound do I need to complete my word? All right. My word is troll. Am I going to need ol or all? Olt. Ost or ost for troll. I hope you said O-L-L -L for troll. Has a blend, ter, ol, troll. All right, what about ghost? Which chunk welded sound will I need for ghost? I hope you said O-S-T. That one says ost or ost. Um, how about doll? Which welded sound will I need for doll? Hope you said O-L-L. -L. That one can also say all or all. How about lost? I hope you said O-S-T. Again, remember that one can say ost or ost. L ost lost. What about bolt? I hope you said O-L-T. Olt. Very good. Let's keep moving. All right. We have our wild old words. We learned a little bit about those already, but the vowel I and O in a one syllable word that ends with LD, ND, ST, or LT may have a long sound. So we have gold, told, hold. Um, we have ghost, most, host, child, mild, wild, bolt, colt, jolt, kind, mind, find. So those are the ones that make those long vowel sounds. All right, I need your help. I Which welded sounds do I need to complete my word? So my word is child. Am I gonna need ind or eind? Or will I need ild or eild? I hope you said ild for, um, eild for child. So that one has a digraph at the beginning, ch, 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 ch and then our eild. All right, what about wind? Which one will I need for wind? I hope you said I-N-D, and also can say eind. All right, my word is kind. Which chunk will I need? Again, I hope you said I-N-D, eind for kind. All right, that um, was our welded sounds. I'm gonna go all the way back to the beginning. We have so many different ones that we can use. Remember, it's so much easier to decode new and unknown words when you are using larger parts. So as we are reading and writing, I'm going to want to see that you are using these parts as you are decoding. Thanks for listening and learning with us today.